Lori, try these banana walnut pancakes. Now you've always had a thing for nuts. Every man in town knows that. <laughs> Why men? Oh, never mind. You guys, an agent from immigration is coming to check on Fez and Lori's marriage, and if he finds out it's fake, Fez could get deported. But this marriage is based on love, right, honey? Don't touch me. <laughs> Fine, I'll give you 20 bucks to pretend to be my wife. It's got to sound familiar. <laughs> Stephen, if you keep doing that, it's going to be really hard for me to pretend I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> then I should go because it's just too easy. Like Lori. <laughs> when is this INS man going to be here? Uh, sometime this week. It's a surprise visit, so I have to stay here. Stay here? With Red? Oh, no. I can't allow that. Why not? Red loves me. Honey, you gave him a heart attack. Maybe he just loves Fez so much that his heart exploded. Please, Miss Kitty, let me stay. Mom, come on. Okay, you win. Oh, thank you. Uh, that was a sexy hug. You really put some boom boom into it, huh? Roar, roar, you're the down the stream. Soapy, soapy, scrubby, scrubby, this is nice and clean. What the hell? I don't know what you heard, but this show ain't free. What is this doing here? Okay, Red, he just has to stay here for a few days. But, Kitty, he was in my shower. He saw my legs. And he saw Pippi. Shut up. Listen, Dad, the INS is coming. If they find out this marriage is fake, Fez could get deported. Well, that's Anwar's problem. Oh, but I cannot go back home. I'm in America now. I'm lazy, fat, and soft. <laughs> like you. Look, you deserve what you get. You tricked Lori into this mess of a marriage. She's innocent and naive. The only reason she got caught up in this is because she loves too much. Oh, well, that last part's true. <laughs> That was the first time I ever tasted chocolate. That's a great story, man. But uh, it's like two in the morning, so we gotta go to sleep. But I forgot my tip of my ocean sounds. <laughs> and I cannot fall asleep without it. Can you make ocean sounds for me? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Okay, then let me tell you about the first time I ate a blow pop. Lick number one. What a surprise. <laughs> you are forgetting the whale songs. Listen, man, I've only been to the ocean once. And the closest thing I saw to a whale was some fat guy selling drugs. Leg number two, still no gum? <laughs> what the hell are you doing to yourself? Oh, great, Dad. You know what? You woke him up, you put him back to sleep.